quarter billion naira palliative to be disbutted by the federal government is nothing but bribing and vote buying. Welcome to Polities on the Wheel with Jail on Elect TV. Please do want to subscribe to this channel by hitting the subscription button and the notification button to get much more videos. Thank you for staying with us. Thank you for the new subscribers. And uh, let's hit the ground running. You know, this came out yesterday that uh, 500 billion of uh, palliative, you know, for capital expenditure for, to cushion the effect of the recent subsidy remover. How can you spend, you know, how will you borrow that kind of money, 500 billion, to share for people? And according to them, 8,000 naira will be shared among 12 million households. How is that possible? How is it possible for you to share that money? How do you get to get the statistic of those? You know, during the Buhari administration, we learned that uh, they already have this database of the poor of the poorest. Are you kidding me? At today, I don't even know those who actually collected this money because I know a lot of people within my community that cannot even afford one square meal in a day. So who are the poorest of the poorest that they're talking about? 12 million people. Anyway, they are going to share. Now, they are giving 35 billion to National Judicial Council to do what? Okay, to give to their staff and for maintenance, right? And they are also giving 10 billion to Federal Capital Territory Administration for uh, critical projects. They are giving 70 billion to National Assembly to support the working condition of the new members. Wow. Wow. See, you know, we already saw the alerts that there may be a rerun. So when they share this money, just like we have traders' money in 2019, you know, so when they share this money, and probably they become a rerun. This is another way to get back into office. But there is something that we should understand about this petition in the court. The court needs to unseat, I mean, they need to um, turn up to five judgments in order to even keep Tinubu in the race, if there's going to be any form of rerun. He's supposed to be disqualified totally. Are you telling me that they are trying to, like, uh, cash out from what they spent during the 25th of February 2023 general election? And they are giving the National Judicial Council over that, uh, 30 billion Naira. To do what? Then, let's watch and see what become of the judgment of cases in court. A senator who said that he, he begged on his wife, you know, to help him and help his colleague get judgment at the, at the courts. Particularly my wife, whose freedom and independence I encroached upon while she was in office. And she has been very tolerant and accepted my encroachment and extended her help to my colleagues. Uh, you see, so what are we saying here? If a senator can do that, then what happened if the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria released such amount of money and then he put a call across? We just saw some days ago that the senator was arrested for refusal to pick the president's call. Haha. Is that not what we saw in papers? See, you know. Nigerians, let's wise up, you know, because this perpetuation of evil by the ruling All Progressive Congress needs to be stopped. This is madness of highest order. You can't imagine 30, 30, over 30 billion naira to Jewish. That means, you know, but we hope that they do the right thing. They do the needful. If not, they are throwing this country away into mud. Anyway, that is all from me this morning. Do well to subscribe if you have not subscribed. And I have some other news for you from His Excellency Mr. Peter Obi, which I will be bringing to you much more later. Thank you for watching.